Hey guys, JR here once again. Uh, I know I've been talking to you about doing some sports, so here we go. We're going to cover the AFC East, um, what they've done so far, what they're going to do. Of course, I'm talking about NFL football and uh, where I think they're going to go, how they're going to finish. Uh, we're basically going to break this down. I'm going to go from uh, where I think last place, who I think last place will be, to first place. So keep an open mind. Uh, listen to what I got to say, and then please put your comments down. I like to hear where you think other people are going to finish. And what, who you think they're going to draft as well. Now we're going to start with fourth place in the AFC East. And I really think it's going to be the Jets. That's the most dysfunctional organization. I thought the Browns were bad. I thought the Raiders were bad. Um, I thought Arizona's qu quarterback situation was bad. Nothing is bad or as bad as the New York Jets. J-E-T-S sucks, sucks, sucks. Here's the thing. Get rid of Rex Ryan and you get rid of... 95%. 95% of your problem. Hey, let me tell you what. My team is not 110% out there or we we don't have every star player, but we're going to win the Super Bowl. I love your I love your confidence, but guess what? Unless you can back it up, shut your freaking mouth and try to build a program. You didn't do that. You went in there on your name. You went in there for the first 2 years. You led the league in rushing and you freaking made it to the playoffs. You got Sanchez, you made him look great, and then the final last two years, you're 14 and 18. You slowly went away from the run. You're a defensive coordinator, Rex Ryan. Get out of that New York Jets situation. I hate to tell you this, when you do, there's not going to be a job for you in the NFL. You're going to have to build yourself back up. I hate to tell you this, it's the truth. Key losses for the Jets. The Jets are cutting everybody. I mean everybody. The only person they're not cutting is Tim Tebow and Mark Sanchez. Why? I Maybe Ryan likes to toy with the media. I tell you what. Let's keep Tebow. Let's keep Sanchez. Let's go ahead and draft Mateo Tay just so you got all the media outlet going to one place and everybody else can work on football and all these other media outlets can work on the Jets. All right? Let's just do that now. Please. Um, your biggest loss hasn't even happened yet. Revis Island is leaving. I think he's going to Tampa Bay. But you know what? San Francisco, you're just too quiet right now, and I just don't trust you. I could really see you saying, hey, here's two draft picks. We got 14 of them. Uh, why don't you give us him as well? I could really see that happening. Uh, in other news, you know, they got the ninth pick this year, and really they could, they could draft any position, and it's going to be an upgrade to what they have. But I, I really think they're going to go with an outside linebacker out of Georgia, um, Jarvis Jones. Uh, again, they you know they were six and ten last year. Last two years they were fourteen and eighteen. Anything is going to help this team. Third, and this is where it gets complicated because these guys could be third, they could be second in my honest opinion. That's the Bills. Um, you got rid of Fitz. Good job. He didn't really have what you needed, but he was a smart quarterback. You picked up Kevin Cobb. Great job. Everybody's talking about how he's, he's a strong arm. It. Congratulations. That's your second. That's your starter or your your backup. That's not going to be your starter. I'm going to tell you right now. The Bills are going to go out there. If he's there on the board, they're drafting Geno Smith. And as you, while you're at it, go ahead at the number, the second round pick. Bailey should be there. Stedman Bailey out of West Virginia. He played high school with uh, Geno Smith. He went to college and played with him. And as soon as he got to college, you could see the chemistry, the connection. Bring him in so you got that safety blanket. Geno's got the arm. He will get the ball down the field to Stevie Johnson. You won't have to worry about Stevie Johnson playing him because he's going to be too busy trying to catch all the balls. Stedman Bailey is like a Wes Welker to me. The guy will catch anything you throw at him. Great pickup. Buffalo really needs to look at this. You've already got your, your running back core. you got a decent offensive line. Not a great, decent. Uh, defense, you know, I'm, I'm going to give you a C plus, B minus right there. You, you need to work more on the defense. But uh, you can address that in free agency. You can address it in rounds three and four. Maybe trade up, do a couple trades there. Um, maybe do trades with another team for, uh, hey, maybe, maybe get Revis Island. I, mean, I don't think the Jets will trade inside their division, but it's the Jets, and they don't know what, anything about football apparently right now. You have you lost your – New York, you lost Fire Marshal, whatever the heck his name is, Fire Marshal Bill or whatever his name is with the, in the stands and everything else. I mean, that's, that's pathetic. You lost your mascot. Oh, Jets, good luck. Get, get out of New York, please. I'm not a New York fan. You know, go play in Canada. Th that's a good place for you. CFL. They'll love you. They'll, they'll love you guys. Ryan, you, that personality, great. All right. Breaking news. Jets are going Canada. You heard it here first. 
Um, next up, this is what if people are gonna get fired up for this one. Uh, I got the Patriots second, and uh, I got them there for a couple reasons. Number one, the biggest key is uh, they lost Wes Welker. They're trying to make uh, Danny Amendola out to be the next Wes Welker, and it's not going to happen. Um, you know, Josh McDaniel, the offensive coordinator, couldn't get uh, Brandon Lloyd and Tom Brady on the same page. Why? How are you going to get Amendola and Tom Brady on the same page? Amendola is not Wes Welker. Wes Welker is tough. He plays every game. He, he don't care. He, he's out there, and he if he's not happy with you, he's going to tell you. He's the type of person, he's a leader on that field. You know, I know Brady is the leader, but he, Wes Welker is just as much a leader, and he was respected, and I know that's exactly why Tom Brady restructured his contract to get Wes Welker, and it screwed over Tom Brady, Wes Welker, and everybody else. I'm just being, you know, that's just my honest opinion on it. Um, now, with that said, you still got Bill Belichick as your head coach. You still got Tom Brady as your quarterback, and you still got those monsters, Gronkowski, Hernandez, and every defense in the NFL fears those two. I don't care if you're 49ers, um, if you're last year's Ravens, every defense. You might not fear them. You respect them. Okay? Uh, i got to be honest with you. Um, the first round pick, they got number 29. And, and I'm going back and forth on this. And I, I really think they might take a guy named Sylvester Williams out of North Carolina. Um, he's a defensive tackle. And let's be honest, they, they do need help with the defense. They've been working addressing that the last couple of years you know, through the draft. Um, but I can also see Belichick trading down the first round because it's Belichick, it's the Pats, so they're going to do things their way. Um, I can also see them still finishing in first. I can see them finishing in third. You know, um, The Bills have a new head coach. Uh, his name is the head coach for Syracuse for the last four years, uh, Doug Marone. And I, I really think, you know, the Bills get Geno, they get Bailey, they got Marone. They can run kind of a pistol option offense. He's not mobile like uh, like RG3, but he's, he's more mobile than what people give him credit for as far as Geno Smith goes. So, I mean, you know, you can see them jumping up, surprising us people, you know, a couple trick plays here and there. Next thing you know, they're in second in the division. I don't see New England dropping to third. They could, you know, they had the third weakest schedule last year at the start of the season, and they went 12-4. and four. Weakest schedule? I'm sorry, but you need to be 14 and 2. 13 and 3 is a bad season when you have third week of schedule and you got Tom Brady, you got Gronk, you got Hernandez, you got freaking Wes Welker, you got Bill Belichick making plays. I mean, it's, that's like the dark side right there. That's Darth Vader himself. Freaking Bill Belichick got his hoodie on and everything else, and you finished 12 and 4. I just don't see you winning the division, except. If Miami spent way too much money and they have no chemistry, that's right. I'm picking Miami to win this division, folks. I'm telling you what, they went out and they got every free agency with free agent, I apologize, with any type of freaking uh, talent at all. They did lose Jake Long. They did lose Reggie Bush. But they got guys like Brent Grimes, who just signed. They got Mike Wallace. They got all these guys. And they really, Dustin Keller was an outstanding pickup at tight end. I got to tell you right now, I love that pickup. Um, I love it more than Mike Wallace. I, you know, I think they overpaid Mike Wallace. I think they should have went with Greg Jennings, who's been a more proven guy to me over the years. Um, but we'll get on with Greg Jennings and the Vikings here later, um, probably next couple of days. Uh, I really do see, uh, you know, number twelve pick for them. I, I think they're going to go after uh, DJ Fluker, Alabama offensive tackle. He's going to replace uh, Jake Long. Uh, this is going to be his second year for uh, Joe Philbin and his second year for Ryan Tannehill. And this year he's got a, a lot of talent around him. Um, they they kept their receiving core, and like I said, they they added a couple uh, couple offensive threats there. So I'm excited to see the AFC East. Um, Miami, you're my pick for the AFC East. Um, doesn't mean you're going to be there, and uh, doesn't mean that, that that whole experiment's going to implode on itself. The Lord knows that you know there was a dream team a couple years ago in Philly that was supposed to just amaze everybody and self self-destructed so you know that might happen it might just be uh, it could be something as crazy as you know new england buffalo uh you know dolphins and jets i just i don't see the jets getting out of the cellar you know it's it's hey they're a great cfl team um you know i, I picked them to, to win the canuck bacon bowl but anyway that's all i got for right now that's all the time i have you guys have a great day and don't forget to leave your comments on how you think the picks went and any anything you think is going to happen in the nfl thanks bye